All right. So, I'm doing, in this video, is an Amazon unboxing of some art supplies. So, let's get started. I got my handy letter opener sword. This was my grandmother's. Ancient, ancient. Okay, maybe not ancient. That's pretty dang old. It certainly is vintage. All right, so this, I have an idea because it is the biggest one. Come on, open it. Right. What it is, and I'm super excited about it. I'm super excited about this whole haul. All right, let's see me up. Yep, yep, I am in view. Okay, so I ordered some bigger canvases because I didn't really have I to get it up out of the box oh. okay that box is done we will throw you over there okay so I ordered these canvases from Phoenix which I have some smaller ones that I've been using and I've really enjoyed them um, but I wanted some bigger ones because I'm going to be doing some bigger work and it came with this set this artist set with uh, paints and some brushes you know it's like a cheap student set I'm sure but I can always use this for my collage and mixed media and hey we'll give it a try all right so those are 12 by 16 stretch canvas okay what's in this one let's see all right and I've already taken off my address label safe online right okay <laughs> what do we have oh y'all y'all I've been waiting for this oh okay so y'all know I've been breaking out my comfort zone um you know doing different things than just watercolor and oil paint was my first love of painting and I haven't done an old painting in about two years Christmas time two years ago I did a winter um, scene for my son because he asked for an oil painting and it turned out really nice and I really like it but the paints I was using weren't the best of quality and so I thought I would get this set and give it a go. Let's see what it comes, what colors it comes with. It just comes with your typical colors. It looks like ultramarine, phthalo blue, permanent green, viridian, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, black and white, and probably some alizarin over here. But we'll... We'll save that for another day. That's an upcoming project. But in this one, save the best for the last. I hope it's in this box. Um, I'm actually hoping to review one out of this box today. Look at this one. Whoa. Come on, sword. You better be careful. Okay. Y'all, I got me a new planner because I use this. Um, I use this type of planner in my everyday. And uh, I go by midweek. It, they call it a teacher calendar, but it's just not midweek mid-year from mid-year to mid-year um yeah so it was time to order a new one all right 
I got me some of this liquid to go with my oil paints. So I've got canvases, paint, and all that. And then this is the one I'm going to be reviewing today. It's the Daniel Smith Moon Glow. I've heard a lot about this one. So we're going to try it out and we're going to paint us something cool. If I can get this out of the package. So y'all can get a better look at it. What does it say here on the back? Viridian PG-18 with ultramarine blue PB-29 and a red rouge aqua I can't pronounce that. PR-177. So that's what's mixed into Moon Glow. Interesting. All right. Well, I'll see you in a snap. Okay. So here we are. We're going to test out our new Moon Glow. I really need to get me a pan. All right, so I have labeled my swatch. I have labeled my pan. And first, I'm going to go in um, wet on dry. Okay, here we go. First impressions. Ooh, it's a lot more lavender than I thought. Okay. Let me get that nice and dark up in here. We're going to come over our line here to see how transparent it is. You guys, I can already tell I'm going to love this color. Like, the movement of it, the flow of it. I don't know. There's some, and I'm using Arches Hot Pressed. Okay. I want to see what the granulation is going to be on that. I do want to come in just a bit more up in here. I want to see just how dark I can get it. Let's continue down. Maybe it's not that strong of a pigment. Oh, that's going to be beautiful on our on our test picture because stay tuned I am going to be testing it out on a painting in my journal so let's go ahead and wet that I'm gonna go in wet on wet because I really want to see how it moves so here we go I'm gonna get a good amount here I love testing out the movement of paint. Oh, look at the color shift on the. I don't know what it's doing, but it's cool. It's separating and I like it I like it a lot look at that I don't know if you can tell that it's got some like blues in there and oh let's see how light we can go now all right I'm gonna let that dry this is my raven that I've been working on. Um, I sketched it out and then I used my dip pen and inked over it. I'm just going to leave the pencil marks because I like the pencil marks personally. Alright, I'm going to speed this up, put on some music, and I will be back.
you see the paints or the lavender separating um i will show you my palette really quick of how that separating with the blues maybe that will show up like that um so i see in the blues the pinks pinks i mean the violets I love that color that's it's really nice <laughs> it's almost like every color I'm trying from Daniel Smith just gets better and better and better no wonder it's so popular it is amazing yep thumbs up Daniel Smith thumbs up I want to thank you for watching if you'd like more tutorials, tips, and reviews, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.